Welcome to the homework for lesson 18. This is module four of grade one. Get your name on here first. Don't forget it. You want to get credit for your work. Two students solve the addition problem below using different methods. Are they both correct? And why or why not? So you can see that they both had, they both had the same total. And let's just look at and see what they did. Because the why or why not is kind of the hard part. There's a lot of different ways to say it, but we want to look at, they both did this different ways, didn't they? Let's see, this first one, uh, I see 18 plus 9, and the student splits up the 9 into a 2 and a 7, because he wants to he wants to make a 10. I see here what he did first. He wanted to make a 10 with that, with this 8, right? Because 2 and 8 makes 10. So he wanted to make a 20 and then add the 7 because it's really easy to add 1s to 10s like that. And I call it 20. I call it a 10 even though it's 20 because the numbers that when I talk about 10s, uh, I want to make sure um, that you know what I mean when I, I think about the numbers you say when you count by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I think of those as tens because they're the numbers you say when you count by tens. So it's really easy to add ones like a seven or an eight or nine, or whatever, to, to any of the tens. So this one uses the arrow way. So it's, it looks different, but it's still 18 plus two gets him to 20 and then and then uh, adding the 7 to the 27 so they're both they're both correct because 18 plus 9 is 27 they didn't make yes um, they are both right or they both add eighteen plus two first and then twenty plus seven both are right. Or we can write correct because it's spelled right there. Correct. Another two students solved the same problem using quick tens. So are they both correct? Why or why not? So we have 18 plus 9. And we have two different totals here. And since we figured out that the 27 is the correct answer to the same problem in the first one, we can figure out that this one here is probably going to be wrong. Uh, but we'll figure this out. We'll just look at it. Um, this 18 plus 9, how did, the, how did he do it? I see the 18 because that's here. Right There's the 10 and there's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the ten and the eight. And is this nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. So he drew eighteen and then he drew nine. And then looped in these two here to make a ten with that eight. So it's really what the same as what the other ones did in the first problem, is they added the two first to the eight. or to the 18 to make a 20 and then added 20 plus 7 for 27. Now let's see if there was a mistake made what the mistake was made over here. Now this student had that 10 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's the 18. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it looks like this student had the same idea of taking two of these 
from the 9 and adding them to the 8 to make a 20, to make this a 20. But instead of like circling them, like this student did here, he redrew them but didn't, but should have crossed them out maybe over here. So he drew two extra. So the student with twenty nine drew two. Two extra dot, uh, dots for the nine. And is wrong. Circle any student work that any student work that is correct. So we're looking at 19 plus 6. Uh, we have three different ways here. We have quick tens for student A, student B used number bonds, and student C has arrow way. So let's see, 19 plus 6. This, this is really going to be really hard to count. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we drew the right number there. That's 19. And then we need six X's, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, he drew an extra X. It's the same mistake that the um it's the same mistake that the other student made up here on the first page redrew part of that add-in to, to finish the 10 but then all but then counted this same part of that number again when he drew it so and you can see this in the in the number sentences here right here's the 19 plus 6 and he rewrote it as 20 plus 6. so now we're looking at student b and we have 19 plus 6 and he used a number bond to split up the 6 because he's trying to make I see that here because the first number sentence is written down, 19 plus 1, that makes it 20. And then he's going to take that 5 that's left from decomposing the 6 and add it to the 20, 25. So this looks great. So I'm going to circle that one. And student C, we have 19 plus 6. So the same kind of thing except written down the arrow way. Added the 1 first, right, so adding 6 adding the one first to get to 20 and then adding five more 25 see how writing down the arrow is easier than writing down two equations but don't try to make write this as an equation so the arrow is great as long as you keep track of what you added one plus five is the same as adding six all at once 25 so that was correct Fix the student work that was incorrect by making a new drawing or drawings in the space below. So this one was the one that was incorrect. So that's uh, quick tens. So we'll just solve 19 plus 6 using quick tens. You don't have to actually use quick tens, but I think it's it just makes more sense to use the same method because we've already seen those two. So the 19 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then the 6x is going to be 1, because okay, we need 1 there to finish that 10. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's a 10. And then we can just write 20 plus 5 equals... 
choose a correct student work and give a suggestion for improvement. So looking at student B and student C, what could you do a little bit more that they could have done? Let's see, let's look at the, uh, we have our two equations for student B. We have our two equations. I can't think of what I would want to add to that to make it better. Looking at the arrow way, that seems to work okay too. But I might want to just check, add another equation to check that the 1 plus 5 equals 6. Right, because I did go back and check that, but I didn't write it down. So writing down something that you you might check in your head is, a, is another way to add to something. So um, I could just write it down. But I'm going to write a sentence here. She could write... Plus five equals six. To show how arrow way works. Now maybe you notice something else, or there's a different one, a uh, different thing that you wanted to add or change. Uh, go ahead, write it down. I mean, this is not the only right answer to this question. There's lots of other ways to answer it. It's just the first one that I thought of.